Hey y'all, Kyle here with the Native Habitat Project and today we're working on a native plant restoration on a property and there is a massive willow oak here that is just a few inches away from being as big in diameter as the state uh, champion tree in Alabama. Unfortunately, some of the top has fallen out of it and you'll see this giant limb here behind me. That is a limb. That is not a tree, that's a limb and it is gigantic. But uh, there's a lot of stuff growing in here already. There's some there's some sedges. These are all really neat looking sedges. And uh, there's some germander growing over there, but we're gonna be planting some plugs of some plants that really like these wet areas. And this is a bottomland area with a lot of willow oak and water oak. And uh, it holds water part of the year, probably in the winter the most. And uh, so we're gonna be planting some great blue lobelia, red cardinal flower, um, lizard tail, sweet joe pie weed and hollow joe pie weed as well as some uh button bush and uh swamp chestnut oaks and uh all these are seeds that i've grown myself and collected the seeds from the same county we're in so uh they'll all be native genetics to this area which is kind of neat that's not a must but it's a it's a nice thing to be able to do but uh i'm gonna set up my camera on this uh plot stick this forestry plot stick that measures trees and uh, it's a plot center stick and i'm probably the only person in the world using a plot center stick as a camera stand but if it works it works so anyways i'm gonna uh, put a time lapse on and y'all are gonna get to watch me uh, plant some natives real quick All right, let's pretend that I haven't already drilled this hole. That's how fast it is. And then you just pull this out of the tube. That's what it looks like in the tube. These cone containers are awesome. They get the root or the tap root down really deep into the ground so they can always get moisture. And you just throw it in there and then stomp some dirt around it. And I'm gonna do the same thing with this that's blue lobelia. I'm going to do the same thing with this cardinal flower. These are both in the same family, except that one blooms blue and this one blooms red. But that's how easy it is. And after you get done planting all these plugs, make sure you turn the rain on because that's going to give them a good watering. And uh, I just got lucky today, I guess, because it has just came a downpour and I thought it was going to be sunny all day. It's still sunny right now. But uh, anyways, I'm gonna plant a few of these trees real quick. I got two swamp white oaks or two swamp chestnut oaks and two button bushes. And both of these are grown from seeds that I collected within just a couple miles of this place. So that's gonna be nice. All right, so I'm gonna plant this uh, button bush right here this, on this high spot by this tree that fell. So maybe that works and uh, I got three more to plant and I'll be done for the day. All right, so now I have finished and uh, I just got to flag off a few of these trees. And uh, I use these orange flags here. Let me get two of them. 
and uh, I flagged off the perimeter of these plugs back here and I flagged off the two uh, trees that I planted right there and uh, now now I flagged those off as well and uh, man this rain is pretty timely um, I just got lucky there but uh planted a swamp chestnut oak right there underneath this monster so it'll replace it one day hopefully and uh i planted all these plugs out through here and uh you can see them scattered through here i just put the flags up around the perimeter of this just so we knew where not to mow and uh it's really not ideal to plant these plugs out here in the open like this with very few plants around them because that is gonna be an easy target for deer to browse on. And uh, that's usually an issue, but this property has so much uh, great deer browse on it. Um, I'm hoping that they might leave this alone, but uh, we'll have to see. But anyways, that's how I plant plugs. And I'm gonna get back in the truck before I get soaked in rain instead of sweat. So appreciate it. And thank y'all for watching.